Hey guys, Dragon here, and today we're back in the year 2015 because I'm gonna be drawing some Haikyuu fan art. Yay! <laughs> I'll explain the 2015 joke in a minute, but first I want to say that the reason I'm doing Haikyuu fan art in 2019 is because me and my wonderful friend Olive have been rewatching Haikyuu lately, and we've gotten about halfway through season two, and I've just been getting this wave of nostalgia because I associate the, so the show so much with my freshman year of high school, hence the 2015 joke. It was honestly the only good thing about freshman year, and I just remember it in such a positive light. I seriously can't express my love for this show enough, because it's just so good. Back around the time of season- like, back around the time season one and season two were coming out, there was such a good feeling in the fandom too, and I'm just so glad that I got to experience that. Because uh, a lot of fandoms that I've been in recently have gotten kind of toxic. <laughs> <Full drawn. laughs> and I'm hoping that season four of Haikyuu will still have that good feeling in the fandom where everyone is friendly and respectful to each other. Well, okay, of course all fandoms have their negative sides, but for some reason I never saw that in Haikyuu. Like, the fandom was always just full of such, like, real wholesome and respectful people, which was super awesome. Uh, but yeah, I'm super excited for season four, even though I still haven't watched season three yet. And, okay, I've seen a few episodes of season three, but, um, <laughs> this is why me and Olive are re-watching season one and two, so I can finally watch season three, so I'll be ready for season four. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm still getting over a cold, so, um, if I cough a lot, I apologize. But, uh, on another note, this is my first attempt at a traditional speed paint. So, if you've made it this far in the video, I apologize for the horrible angle and lighting. I just wanted to test some stuff out, and who oh boy did I make this hard on myself. My first mistake was recording a 53 minute long video of me painting on my phone and that was a big no-no because -no, I ended up having to edit the footage in iMovie on my phone and then cut it up into chunks which I then had to download back onto my phone and then I had to import the footage onto my laptop and then I had to download it to the desktop on my laptop and then I had to delete the clip from everywhere except for my desktop so I was able to edit and download the next clip, and I had to repeat that like five times, and it sucked horribly. Um, I should have just recorded the video parts that I wanted slowed down as regular videos, and then recorded time lapses of the process. <laughs> Needless to say, I learned my lesson. <coughs> Excuse me. Also, as for the crappy angle, the only tripod I have um, is this real crappy one, and it's like nine inches tall, and it's super flimsy, and it looks like this. <laughs> and so maybe in the future I'll be financially able to invest in a better tripod and an actual video camera so I don't have to deal with this crap. But yeah, like I said before, I, um, I was just testing some stuff out with this to see what I could do, so... Hopefully this isn't too horrible for a first attempt, given the setup I have. Um, so, if you were wondering what materials I was using for making this watercolor piece, I tried to show them all in slow down sections of the video, but I'll give you all a list here. So, there was Fabriano cold press watercolor paper, an 05 and an 08 black micron pen, uh, pens, I should say, those two pens. Um, a Sakura Koi watercolor palette, Pentel Aquash water brushes, and a white Uniball Signo gel pen. Um, I would highly recommend all of these supplies, but if you don't have the funds to get any of them, they're not necessary for making good art. Personally, I just like um, personally I just like them a lot, and I use them a lot too. Um, so. Also, I just wanted to thank you guys for over 50 subscribers. I know I take a long ass time to respond to comments and to make my videos, but I'm so flattered that so many people want to watch my videos. So, um, thank you guys lots. Your support means so much to me. Also, do you guys think 
this video worked. Would you like to see more traditional art speed paints? I mean, I love doing watercolor paintings, so I certainly wouldn't mind doing more traditional speed paints. I might just want to get a better tripod first. <laughs> That's kind of all I have to say about this speed paint, but if you have any suggestions of other characters from other fandoms and even more haiku characters that I could draw, then that would be great. Um, I might not necessarily make a speed paint of it, but I would love to do more fan art because I just I don't do it enough and I love a lot of characters, so um, any suggestions would be greatly appreciated. Thanks! Anyways, here's the finished painting. Sorry the video is so grainy, I literally woke up and recorded this. And let me tell you, spring has been kind of gray and sad lately. It was very dark in my room and for some reason I didn't feel like turning on any lights. Also, here's a picture of the thumbnail I did because I think it's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, so thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video, which hopefully is soon because I have footage recorded that I need to edit. Okay, bye!